Hi everyone, Ashley here from Ink Girl Studio and I'm gonna show you how to make these really pretty Christmas ornaments with Yubo paper, alcohol ink, and just a simple wood disc ornament. So let's get started. I will be going over supplies as we go along, but there is a comprehensive list in the notes below. So take a look at that before you start. You're also gonna to wanna to be safe when you are working with alcohol ink. So I wear nitrile gloves and then I also wear a respirator. This is the one that I use, I'll show you in just a second here, but please do your own research on how to stay safe when you're using alcohol inks. So I cut uh, approximately three and a half inch round uh, pieces of medium weight Yupo paper. It doesn't have to be a, per a perfect circle because we will be actually cutting the edges um, a little bit later and I'll show you that in the finishing stage when we adhere the Yupo uh, to the wood. So I'm just going to start laying down uh, my base, uh, my base layers, and I've started with denim, and then some slate, a little bit of moss, pistachio, and I'm just, I'm literally just from the bottle, just dropping it in, and then I'm going to take my round brush with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on it, and just start blending these layers or these inks together. So this top section is going to be my mountains and the bottom is going to be, or the mid is gonna be the water and then the bottom, the foreground is going to be the beach. A little bit of, of like rock or whatever. So I laid down some salmon and I'm just going in kind of offloading my brush and adding a little bit of isopropyl to blend the layers in. And this was pistachio that I just laid down and then coral. And I kind of like to see what it's gonna do before I try to direct the ink in any way. And this is Laguna. I just wanted a little bit more of a blue-green in there. And again, just take your brush and start blending the layers together. We just wanna get a base that we're gonna actually dry with the heat tool right here. You can also use a hair dryer. We just want a base so then we can go and start putting in textures and really defining the composition. So I put a little bit of denim on my brush. And here I'm just kind of adding in a little bit of texture, kind of lifting some of the ink. Some, some more pistachio. And so I, I like to kind of see, like I said before, what it's gonna do, how it's gonna blend, and then I can kind of um, direct the ink. And this is cloudy blue, just building up some layers. Again, watching to see what it's gonna do. All right, I dried it a little bit right there. And this is some eggplant adding in a bit more texture. And don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. It's, I couldn't even recreate this exactly um, because every single one of them are gonna look different. The ink kind of does what it wants and in the moment you kind of help it uh, move along to what the vision that you had. So I just laid down some denim. I wanted something a little bit more saturated there after I kind of played around a little bit with some um, diluted colors. I kind of landed on the blue because I was thinking I'm gonna want to add gold to this somewhere and I think that contrast is gonna be really pretty with the denim so I'm gonna work on the beach here a little bit this is just a bit of slate diluted on my brush with isopropyl and then here is the pinata gold it's called rich gold and just give it a good shake and then just I just drop it directly onto the the painting and it will start to kind of fan out and blend um, with, with the colors around it. And I'm gonna give you a little close up here because it's kind of hard to see, but it just has a really pretty shimmer. All right, and now we are going to move into the sky. So the sky, sometimes I keep, you know, the negative space and I like it, but I feel like I want this piece to look a, a bit more finished. So I'm gonna do a little wash of cloudy blue and I'm gonna to try to keep it 
from touching my mountain range or my, my hills because once it hits that, it will reactivate the dry ink. I'm going to add in a little bit of this shell pink. I'm just trying to pull colors that I have um, in the painting below, but a bit more diluted. See, I'm being really careful right there. If it does for some reason reactivate, it's not a big deal. You can always make it work. Um, I just really like this crisp line um, happening at the top of my mountain range, and I wanted to keep that. But again, no problems if, if you reactivate the ink. You can always do something pretty with that. And so this is diluted denim. Just kind of dragging my round brush across the top. And there we have it. Your little abstract landscape seascape. I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more texture to uh, the beach section, the gray and the pink area. Um, and so I took a bit of isopropyl alcohol that is in um, my little spray bottle and just did a little spritz. Just add some, some um, interest to the bottom. And there we go. Okay, so let's jump into our abstract ornament. I'm going to use the same palette minus the pink and the eggplant. So I'm going to use denim, pistachio, slate, and pinata gold. And then on top of that, I'm going to lay down more isopropyl alcohol just so I can get a lot of, uh, make it more fluid so that when I get my heat tool right here, I can push it around and blend the colors a lot e more easily. And you can see if, as you push the ink and the isopropyl back and forth, it creates these really pretty, I call them tidal lines. I don't actually know what they're called, but um, it's just a really pretty kind of cool effect. Sometimes at this stage, I'll, I'll realize I don't really like what I made. So you can just throw or drop ice, don't throw, uh, drop isopropyl alcohol or blending solution on top and reactivate the ink and add more color. Okay, so now we're ready to mount the Yupo paper to the wood disc ornament. I'm gonna apply a heavy matte gel medium onto the disc, making sure to get kind of an even application. You probably could use a bigger flat paint brush. This is just what I had available, but it works. Keep a wet paper towel around to kind of get any of the excess glue. Place your Yupo paper on top of the wood ornament and flip it over to see if you can get an overhang uh, all around. Clean up any excess glue with a wet paper towel and place it in a clean sheet of tissue paper and make sure you can get a good adhes adhesion. If you don't have this tool, you can use a credit card or a gift card, just something to kind of get the bubbles out and um, get a nice adhesion. And then place a heavy book on top of your ornament to dry. Your ornaments should be dry in about a couple of hours. Place your ornament face down on a cutting mat and take your X-Acto knife and just start trimming the edges. Make sure to keep a good pressure in the center of your ornament so that you don't get any slipping. You will want to set your ornaments with a varnish and a UV resistant. I do three coats of the varnish about 20 minutes in between each application and the same with the UV resistant. And here are the finished pieces. If your wood discs aren't pre-drilled, just drill a little hole in the top and then you can stick your uh, satin or silk or whatever ribbon you want to use to finish it off. Thank you so much for following me along in this tutorial. I hope that you guys all have fun making your own alcohol ink ornaments on Yupo paper. Happy holidays!